Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in this video, we're gonna see uh, AWS code commit and operating it or managing it through the AWS CLI. So in my previous video, I introduced you to AWS code commit, uh, how to create a repository and so on. And in this video, let's see how easy it is going to be uh, managing it from the AWS CLI. So if you want to follow along this video, um, search in my Learn AWS playlist. I've done a video on how to configure and set up your AWS CLI. So it's uh, whatever you do in your AWS management console through the web browser, you can do it through AWS CLI. And uh, today we are going to see how we can create a repository, create branch, and I've got a list of things that I'm gonna show you in this video. These are the list. So let's see one by one how we can interact with our code commit repository using AWS CLI. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll also show you how to import your existing GitHub uh, repository into AWS code commit. So if you've got a GitHub repository, if you want to import it, took AWS code commit, let's see how we can uh, do that. Okay, so AWS CLI, you should have configured it uh, by now. If not, please follow my other video. AWS configure, and I've got my, okay, let me start again. AWS configure. So I've got my access key ID, secret key, uh, default region is EU West 2, which is London. Um, output format is none, okay. So how to list the uh, repositories, the code commit repositories. So on the left here, I've got my AWS, I've logged into my AWS management console. And if I click on code commit, I don't have any repository at the moment. So AWS code commit is the command. So AWS and the sub command is code commit. And there is help function. So what you can do with AWS code commit. So for managing the repositories, you've got creating a repository, deleting a repository, get repository information, list repositories, update the repository description, update repository name. For branch, you have create branch, delete branch, get branch, list branches, update default branch, and so on. So these are a list of uh, things that you can do from the CLI for your code commit. So there's a the lot of help function. And for every individual subcommand, uh, you can have the help function. For example, AWS code commit list repositories. And if you type in help at the end, it's gonna show you what options are available for the list repositories subcommand. Okay, so list repositories, and you will also have some uh, examples at the end. So here's an example, AWS code commit list repositories and so on. So let's do that first. AWS code commit list repositories. All right, so it's an empty list because we don't have any uh, code commit repository. Let's create one. And the command to create is AWS code commit create repository. And if you don't know what options to pass, that's always the help function. Let's look at the help function. And the only required option is the repository name, what you wanna call your repository, and there are additional options that you can pass, like tags, repository description, and so on. And there will be an example of how to create a repository. AWS code commit, create repository, and that's the repository name, and if you want an optional repository description. So let's go ahead and create a repository. AWS code commit, create repository, Minus minus repository name, let's call it demo repo. So that's more than enough. But if you want, you can also pass in the repository description. Let's call it my demo repository. Okay, so that's done. And you will have the repository ID, repository name, repository description, and so on. And in here, if I refresh, we should be able to see the new repository that we created. Yeah, there you go. And if you want to uh, log into your repository, there is SSH or HTTPS. And in my previous video, I explained how to create your HTTPS Git credentials and SSH Git credentials uh, to be able to log in or clone and push your repository to code commit. Okay, so that's done. Uh, list repositories, we've done the create repository. 
and if you want to know details about a particular repository you can use get repository command aws code commit get repository minus minus repository name is demo repo so that's going to give the same information repository data when it was created and the more important thing here is the https link and the ssh link so if you want to git clone your code commit repository you're going to use one of these two urls okay let me also show you how to clone your github repository so if i click on the ssh link here so that's the ssh url and if you're operating entirely in the command line interface uh, you do aws code commit git repository in the repository name and it will give you the https and ssh url okay so mine is this one so i'm going to copy uh, the ssh url and i've already set up my ssh keys i've generated an ssh key pair and I've uploaded my uh, public key to AWS. So now I can do git clone and git push. So let's do git clone and paste the SSH URL. So cloning into demo repo and we have our demo repo. CD to demo repo git status. So we are on branch master. Git branch. So git, is it git branches? Nope. Okay, don't worry about it. And uh, we've got that git remote minus v. So that's our uh, SSH URL to fetch and push and all sorts of things. Let's create a sample file touch. Hello, git add git commit minus m for message. Added my first file and do git push. Okay, so it's not going to ask you for username or password because we are interacting with uh, the code commit using our SSH credentials. Okay, on the left here, if I do demo repo, we have our hello file that we just created. Okay, so what else we can do? Uh, list branches, AWS code commit list branches and you want to list branches on which repository so you need to pass in the repository name demo repo okay so we have just one branch the master branch and if you want to uh, look at more details about a particular branch that is get branch command which we are going to look now um, AWS code commit get branch repository name is demo repo and the branch name is master okay so that's our branch name and it shows the last commit id on that branch master so i'm going to copy this commit id and uh, let's see what this commit is all about aws code commit get commit minus minus repository name is demo repo minus minus commit id is the one that we just copied Okay, that shows uh, some details about the uh, the commit that we did on our uh, code commit repository. Author who created this commit, uh, that's me. And the message is added my first file. Okay, so now, how do you branch? How do you create a dev branch, for example, or a staging or a production or any branch? So at the moment, we have only one branch, which is master. So I'm gonna show you how to create a new branch from this commit, yep. So when you have a master branch, you will have list of commits. In our case, we have just one commit, but if you've got list of commits, uh, you can create a branch from a particular commit. So as we have just one commit, I'm gonna create a branch from that commit. AWS code commit create branch. Repository name is demo repo minus minus branch name is dev minus minus commit id is that one okay so we have created a new dev branch and now if i do aws code commit list branches repository name is demo repo and you will see now we have two branches master and dev the same you can go and look at in your aws management console if I click in repositories, demo repo, and uh, you can see we have the master branch and we have the dev branch. And if you want to 
So the master is the default branch and if you want to update your default branch to Dell, there is this command AWS code commit update or help grip for update update default branch right AWS code commit update default branch help so update default branch repository name the default branch name let's go ahead and do that or uh, you will have a an example here AWS code commit update default branch repository name is that my default branch name my default branch name is new branch okay let's go ahead and try that just for fun AWS code commit update default branch minus minus repository name is demo repo minus minus default branch name is dev okay so that's done AWS code commit get repository minus minus repository name is demo repo uh, the default branch is dev and in here if I refresh this repositories demo repo and we are in the dev branch and dev branch is the default branch now so I'm gonna change that back to master branch and get repository and the default branch has now been switched to master okay so that's how you create a new branch if you want to make the branch default you can do that now let's uh, go ahead and delete the branch AWS code commit delete branch minus minus repository name is demo repo minus minus branch name is dev okay so AWS code commit get branch minus minus repository name is demo repo I think it's get branches uh, list branches sorry uh, AWS code commit list branches repository name is demo repo so now we are back to one branch which is master we've just deleted the uh, the dev branch okay so that's it and now let's go ahead and delete the repository AWS code commit delete repository repository name is demo repo that's gone AWS code commit list repositories okay so we don't have any repositories and if I click in repositories we don't have any repositories so that's how you normally work with your code commit repository uh, from a command line using AWS CLI all right so I told I'm gonna show you how to uh, import your existing github account okay let me go back to the play directory and remove the demo repo and now I'm going to create a new code commit repository I'm go and I'm going to import uh, my existing repository. For example, I've got an AWS uh, repository, github.com. And I've got my AWS repository with a few files in it. So I'm going to clone this uh, file and sorry, clone this repository and import that into uh, AWS code commit. Okay, so AWS code commit create repository minus minus repository name is AWS repository description is optional so I'm gonna leave that AWS code commit list repositories so we have one repository called AWS and I'm gonna git clone uh, my AWS github repository github.com just me an open source AWS running into AWS I don't know why it's taking so long okay that's done CD to AWS git status git remote minus V okay so that's cool origin everything is looking fine so now I'm going to import that into AWS code commit what you can do is at the moment git remote is set to my github URL what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the remote uh, URL to my AWS code commit and then if I do git push it's going to push all this one to my AWS code commit repository so AWS 
code commit list repositories i've got aws aws code commit get repository repository name is aws so we need this url here so i'm going to copy that and let's say git remote set url origin to the ssh url of my code commit repository okay now if i do git remote minus v so my origin is set to uh, the aws code commit url and now i can do git push okay so that's done and if i refresh my repositories here now you can see the aws uh, repository with all the uh, files in here okay so git push uh, i think it's minus minus tags is it yep nope git push minus minus follow tags to push all your tags so if you have uh, multiple tags in your github account github repository if you want to push that as well uh, i'm not sure if it is git push minus minus all or git push minus minus tags but this will give you a rough idea of how you can import your existing github account github repository into aws code commit repository okay so uh rm minus rf aws let's also delete the code commit repository code commit delete repository repository name is aws aws code commit list repositories cool we don't have any repositories and if i check on the management console we don't have any repositories all right cool uh, that's it i wanted to show you in this video if you've got any questions or any comments or any issues please leave me a comment i should be able to get back to you at the earliest i can and uh, thank you so much for your time watching this video i will see you all in my next video Bye bye